a species of genus Betongia, small to medium-sized mammals that are usually nocturnal and fungivorous. The dentary of the desert brush kangaroo rat resembles that of the Potterus species and those of the Betong genus. An examination of morphology and molecular evidence proposed this specimen as the type of this new species. The type was collected from a fresh carcass at Lake Mackay in the Western Northern Territory in 2015. Rab's fringe-limbed tree frog, like other members of the genus, lived in the forest canopy. They were nocturnal and fed on insects. When threatened, they were capable of gliding through the air by leaping from their perch and fully stretching their massive webbed hands and feet. They could also steer the direction of their descent. In observations, they were known to glide for a distance of 9 meters. The males of the species were highly territorial, defending water-filled tree holes used for breeding. At the time of its collection, the herpetologist who later described this species were already aware of the encroaching threat of the chytrid fungus in Panama. The fungus causes an infectious amphibian disease called chytridiomycosis, which has been linked to the massive decline and extinction of amphibian species in certain parts of the world. The Emoya skinks, of which the Christmas Island forest skink was the most ancestral member, are a large group with marked radiation on islands in the Pacific. The Christmas Island forest skink was common and widespread on Christmas Island during most of the 20th century. It was considered abundant in 1979. As recently as 1998, herpetologist Hal Cogger observed more than 80 forest skinks basking and foraging around a single fallen tree. However, Populations plummeted during the 1990s and 2000s by up to 98%. In 2003, the species was limited to fragmented pockets in remote parts of the island, and a targeted survey in 2008 found the species at only a single site. The cause of the species' rapid decline is still unknown, although possibilities include predation by yellow crazy ants, giant centipedes and cats, competition with five introduced reptile species, poisoning from insecticides, and disease. Gunther's dwarf burrowing skink was known from only one specimen which was collected in 1886. It has greatly reduced limbs. The forelimbs are entirely lost, and the hind limbs retain only two digits. It is considered extinct since 2017. Eastern cougar refers to the extinct or extirpated population of cougars that once lived in northeastern North America, which some authorities have considered to be a subspecies. It has been declared extinct in 2018, but the eastern cougar was extinct well before it was protected under the Endangered Species Act, as was the case with eight of the other ten species that have been delisted for extinction. The Canadian Wildlife Service has taken no position on the question of its extinction. Cougars are still common in western North America, individuals from that population are occasionally seen in the eastern cougar's former range.
The Yangtze giant softshell turtle is an extremely rare species of turtle that is endemic to Yance River. It is listed as critically endangered and may be the largest living freshwater turtle in the world. The female of the last breeding pair died at Suzhou Zoo in China in April 2019, making the species functionally extinct. The Yangtze giant softshell turtle is on the brink of extinction due to habitat loss, hunting for subsistence and local consumption, and the use of the carapace and bones in alternative medicine. Skulls are often kept as trophies. The Yangtze giant softshell turtle is noted for its deep head with a pig-like snout and dorsally placed eyes. Despite its massive size and distinctive appearance, this species is extremely secretive and only rarely comes up to breed, largely preferring to stay submerged deep underwater. This may be part of the reason why it is so difficult to positively identify and confirm wild sightings of this species. Chinese paddlefish were largely solitary, and occupied the lower mid-layers of the water column. They were noted for being strong swimmers. Unlike its relative the American paddlefish, which is planktivorous, the Chinese paddlefish was primarily piscivorous, primarily feeding on small to medium-sized fishes. During a search conducted in the Yangtze Basin from 2006 to 2008, a research team from the Chinese Academy of Fisheries Science failed to catch any paddlefish, but two probable specimens were recorded with hydroacoustic signals. Although very small numbers might survive, many scientists now consider the Chinese paddlefish to be extinct. A 2019 study reaffirmed the species as likely extinct following extensive capture surveys of the Yangtze that did not report any live specimens of the paddlefish. The paper estimated that the species went extinct between 2005 and 2010, and became functionally extinct by 1993. The study found the species' extinction to have been primarily caused by overfishing and habitat fragmentation, with one of the main contributors being the construction of the Gejoba Dam. The paper thus recommended the reclassification of the species as extinct. Sturdy's pipistrelle is a bat that was thought to have lived in Japan before officially becoming extinct in 2000. In 2020 the International Union for Conservation of Nature changed its official status to extinct. It was thought to have existed solely on Hahajima Island in Bonin Islands, Japan, where the only known specimen was discovered. However, more recent scholarship places doubt on the single specimen's origin and taxonomy. The northern white rhinoceros is one of two subspecies of the white rhinoceros. Formerly found in several countries in East and Central Africa south of the Sahara, this subspecies is a grazer in grasslands and savanna woodlands. Since March 2018, there are only two known rhinos of this subspecies left, both of which are female, barring the existence of unknown or misclassified male northern white rhinos elsewhere in Africa, this makes the subspecies functionally extinct. To prevent any unnecessary injuries of the last captive northern white rhinoceros, they might inflict on each other while interacting in their fenced area, and give their horns an opportunity to regrow to a natural shape, all the rhinos were sedated and their horns were sawn off. This also made them less vulnerable to the poaching that drove their species to near extinction, as the horn is what the poachers are after. In place of their horns, radio transmitters have been installed to allow closer monitoring of their whereabouts. Historically the major factor in the decline of white rhinos was uncontrolled hunting in the colonial era, but now poaching for their horn is the primary threat. 
The white rhino is particularly vulnerable to hunting, because it is a large and relatively unaggressive animal with very poor eyesight and generally lives in herds. Even with increased anti-poaching efforts in many African countries, many poachers are still willing to risk death or prison time because of the tremendous amount of money that they stand to make. Rhino horn can fetch tens of thousands of dollars per kilogram on the black market in Asia and, depending on the exact price, can be worth more than its weight in gold. Poachers are also starting to use social media sites for obtaining information on the location of rhino and popular tourist attractions by searching for geotagged photographs posted online by unsuspecting tourists. By using GPS coordinates of rhino in recent photographs, poachers are able to more easily find and kill their targets.